Have you ever purchased something for other people and they keep telling you how great it is but you've never done it or bought it or tried it? Well, that's what we are gonna do today because you guys, I finally broke down and bought quail eggs because I keep hearing from Paula and other people how wonderful they are. So today, guess what Harry and I are gonna be eating? We're gonna be eating quail eggs. So come on, you guys, let's get this day started. everybody good morning good morning welcome all you new folks welcome back everybody to sunny hot heck hot arizona we watched the news this morning and they said it could get up to 120 degrees today they have water stations throughout phoenix with cold water for homeless because we have homeless here still which is crazy i don't know how they can stand it without air conditioning but they're handing out cold water for everyone that needs it they have tented areas and stuff throughout the city so that's really a good idea but speaking of water we were making keto chow shakes because i told harry i want some keto chow shakes and there they all are but what a fiasco it was for us water-wise today. My water on my refrigerator. Well, no, if I do it, it'll be the one time it works, Harry. Harry, like, push, push it. it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'll do it this way. The water wasn't working. Look. Yeah, it's clogged. The spring or something on my, oh, my thing is broken. It's clogged. We got the keto chow all lined up, got the fats in it, got the powder in it, went to put do the water. And it was like, ah! So I told Harry, run out to Arvita and get some of the big jugs that we take with us so we can make keto chow. I don't want to, you guys, city water here in Arizona, and if you haven't watched Ken, Dr. Ken Berry's uh, thing about this forever chemicals, that yeah. are in waters and stuff now you need to go watch that because that was very eye-opening but our water is so so full of uh, minerals calcium deposits and whatnot if we don't use the guest bathroom shower and bathtub because we really don't it's for guests if we don't turn it on it won't turn on harry has to take all the fixtures apart take off all the calcium buildup off of that knock the pipes a little bit to get the water working i have to take the shower head and put run my fingers over the top of it because of the buildup it's on everything no matter what so i don't want to be drinking city water without it going through some kind of filter which is my refrigerator i then I ran and went to the ice cubes. It was like, oh, I'll check them again just to make sure they're working. Oh, phew. thank goodness we've got ice because it's gonna be hecka hot. So anyway, got my water out. That at least we had water enough. We went through the gallon and a half to get those made, but they're made finally. And now I've got them for a couple of days. So thank heavens for that. You guys. I want to remind everybody housekeeping, we are giving away a Z-Star grill. I'm going to get it here. Let me, let me pick it up and bring it over there, Harry, because it's, I've got a bunch of stuff. We're giving this away to one lucky person that is a subscriber that lives in the United States of America. You guys need to live in the United States of America to win this. Now, let me put this down. You only need to enter once because when we do random picker, we're gonna knock out duplicate entries by your um, contacts. So please only enter once. That's all you need to do. The random picker will go through. It will take out and only have unique entries, no uh, duplicate entries allowed, and it will pick that. You only can enter to win on this video only, the big announcement where we talk about it, not on this entry. Don't send it to me via email. It has to go to that video only and enter one time if you live in the United States and you're a subscriber to win. We're gonna show the winner on the 19th, so of this month. So that's coming up pretty quickly. The 19th is Wednesday. Now today is Sunday, and then we film today, and that will be shown on Monday. So we'll film that, 
Wednesday night and it will air on March 19th. So good luck everybody. I am so excited because we already have, what, 454 comments? Yep. So that is super excited, exciting. I'm excited. Anyway, you guys, Paula and Al and Billy, their younger daughter, all drove, did a road trip to Florida where Paula did a beautiful work. She did so much stuff for the wedding. The wedding is was beautiful. The pictures were beautiful. And their oldest daughter got married. I said, how does it feel to have a married woman in the family? Anyway, that was Ayla, their oldest daughter. So she took a package of the quail eggs I bought her from Costco and one for her mom. And I thought we were here. I thought, why didn't I get some? Here goes, how come you never buy any for us? I thought, I don't know. So we went here last week and we bought some. So I asked her today, how are things going and everything else? And I said, how many quail eggs? And this brought me back to the lady who was checking us out in line because she says, I don't get it. I go, what, what do you mean you don't get it? She goes, the quail eggs. She goes, I don't get it. She goes, how do you, what do you do with them? I said, you eat them? She says, yeah, but how? She says, they're little. And I said, well, she says, how many do you eat? I said, well, how many eggs do you eat? I would do about three quail eggs to an extra large egg is what I would do. And I would pickle these. You can hard boil them, pickle them. They look so cute. Some of the pictures I saw, people made little baby quail deviled eggs and put a little, little bacon crisp on that for like hors d'oeuvres. How cute would that be? It would be work, but it would be darling, or just better yet, hard boil them and put them out for everybody. Pickle them, hard boil them, and put them in a cute little bowl and have toothpicks so people can have a little quail egg, right? Christmas, New Year's, uh, uh, Super Bowl, right? Any of those types of things, just have them ready, but you could devil them. Those that guys would be would so take cute. like handfuls of Oh, they would be eating them like crazy. Yeah. Guys are guys. But anyway, I'm going to make quail eggs today, you guys. What am I going to do? Come back and I'll share. I am going to fry up a whole pan full of little quail eggs in butter, in browned butter. But you guys, I've got my Gruyere cheese. And I'm going to sprinkle this over the top and let it melt over it. Then I'm going to make, and by the way, this is my same bread loaf people asked about. So it's been on my counter. Yes, I have it covered. But look at this. It's still, it's not tacky. It's still soft. And it hasn't molded. Now, we live in very, very dry weather. If you live in super humidity and your house has a swamp cooler or it's super, super um, moist, get it in the fridge, it'll mold. But for us, it's perfect. And uh, so I'm gonna cut us some toast. We like ours cut really thin. Yep. Matter of fact, I'm gonna. Yeah, I like the taste of food that's on the sandwich. Let me get two plates. <laughs> Not just a mouthful of bread, you know. We like dipping our bread and having it full of butter and then dipping it in the egg yolks. Yep. Harry and I both do. We're egg yolk people. Yeah, we don't yolk around when it comes to our eggs. But look at this. It's still nice, soft, moist. Look, right there. It's delicious. So I'm excited about that. Get it the right way, Wendy. Yes, I have a bread slicer, but I like cooking, making it thinner than the bread slicer for my toast. Oops, that was too, too, too thin. Sometimes I do that, but that's all right. I'm still going to eat it. Oh, yeah. Just not right now. I'm going to save it for last. That's the last two pieces of the hardest to cut, man. Yeah, they are. But there, I've got two pieces and some spares. Those will get eaten tomorrow. Even the, even, okay, my buttermilk bread, even the heel that's been sitting there is still nice and has moistness to it. So I'm just gonna put the same paper towel on it. Put it in my little, uh, I got this on Amazon. Uh, Gladys, my friend in Canada says they have them on Timu. So you might want to go there if you're a Timu person, if not, you know. So now, this is going to be the interesting part. I am super excited. 
get some butter. Pan is baking. Which pan? The one you got on hot. Well, I know because I want. Okay, I'll turn it down to low. I want my butter. Yeah, look at it run. Whoa, it's running around. Actually, I don't want it to cook too fast because I want it to naturally get um, brown. I don't want it to burn. I want it to get brown. There's a difference. How do I, let's see how to open these. Hmm. Yep. I'm sure we're gonna eat a whole tray. I should be using a knife or something. Uh, that's all right. You gotta keep them in something, right? Well, there's two of us. So if we each, if we're each egg is long. three, we get a whole tray. Yeah, pretty much, right? We get a whole tray. So I'm just gonna take this one, this little tray out and put this back in the fridge. Yeah. Throw that up on that counter. It looks so little. Look, baby eggs. Little baby eggs. Yeah. Here, Harry. Uh, they're gonna cook fast, too. Oh yeah, I would imagine. There we go. Oh, look. They're pretty well packed. They're very nicely packed. Aren't they pretty? Look at these. I think we're gonna need more than... Honey, you got to really get out of my way to do quail eggs, because these suckers... I think oh, we're we each got, gonna need a are. we're gonna need a rack. Hmm. Oops! That one squirted at you. It did. They're tough. Oh, those shells are hard, huh? You know what? I'm gonna move them off the stove. Yeah, so they're not they're gonna cook, cook too fast. fast. Yeah, put, um, put them right there where the eggs are. Yeah, set it right there. Because the stone is gonna, not going to hurt the stone. Is That's it? true. The, uh, the uh, membrane is very thick. Looks like we're having Barbie over to eat. Yep. We should have had it for the Barbie movie. Whoever right. watches Barbie movies, you yeah. need to make yourself some Barbie eggs. Huh? Watch out the heat on the camera, Harry. Mm -hmm. The stove is on. Can you imagine peeling 48 or 50 oh of these for, a, for an event? <laughs> no wonder quail eggs are at a premium, right? Well, they're little, so you want your kids to do it. There's a huge yolk compared to the white part. How cute is this? It's to have quail eggs. To have quail eggs is still cheaper than going and trying to get at just regular eggs at a um, restaurant, right? Yep. So you're getting gourmet quail eggs. Gourmet. Everybody. Oops, there you go. See, you can see that. So let me put this away. Let me wash my little fingers because they're covered. Now you guys, that is a whole dozen. I'm gonna cover them. It's more than a dozen, isn't it? Um, no, the top was a dozen. Three, six, nine, oh. twelve. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Six and six, two, nine and nine, eighteen. This is an eighteen count right here. Well, petite, yeah. eighteen count. So. I'm getting this done. I'm gonna put the Gruyere on it. I'm gonna let these cook. I'm gonna get my toast over. I'm gonna dust the um, bread dust off my plate. There. How many of you have tried quail eggs? I've tried goose eggs, I've tried duck eggs. Haven't tried pheasant eggs, but how many of you guys have tried quail eggs? Do you notice the difference? Are they richer, creamier, 
uh, more vibrant in their taste? And how do you cook your quail eggs? Leave me a comment down in the description below. Inquiring minds want to know. You need like a little know. quail egg pan. Oh, you need a little. <laughs> You need a little everything for it. You could yeah. probably use Barbie With dishes. little utensils. You know, Chalice had the Barbie ki dream kitchen. Yeah, he did. You probably could use Barbie, Barbie, uh, <laughs> Barbie dishes. One thing I hated about Barbie, sorry all you Barbie folks, were trying to vacuum up the kids' rooms when they had been playing Barbies because the Barbie shoes. Barbie shoes are the dinky winkiest little Barbies in the whole entire universe and they get in the carpet and then I'd try to vacuum and I'd get a shoe would get sucked up. The kids would get upset. I mean they had all the Barbie. Chalice had all the Barbie oh, stuff. Yeah. Bag, My mom used to bag, make Barbie full clothes. Of that crumb. Huge, uh, several black trash bags yes. full of stuff. When the kids finally became teenagers, now Chalice has collected Barbie dolls in the box, pristine, beautiful ones, since oh, yeah. she was a little girl. So you know, that. all the Barbies. All the Barbies. So, And she was smart not to take them out of the um, boxes or anything. Then she had boys. Now she has Alice May, who is her niece's and maybe she gets the Barbies because Chalice has quite the collection. Absolutely beautiful, pristine Barbies and all the beautiful costumes when Barbie came out with the different princesses, the Disney ones, all those. They're absolutely beautiful. This is exciting. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not I'm talking. This, I'm talking. I'm not making toast. I know. Look, they're coming right along. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for showing that. I'm going to put a little bit of Gruyere cheese over the top. I don't want to. I don't want to overpower them. But I do want some Gruyere cheese on them. Just a few pieces. This Gruyere, yeah, Sally found that cheese. There she goes, she got it. Want some more? Here, come on over here. Now this is Gruyere cheese. I don't know if you're gonna like it. You gonna try it? Oh, okay, do you like that? You like that flavor? Well, here's a, here's one more piece. She says, well, I heard you say cheese, but I don't know. Yeah, okay, she likes Gruyere cheese, good. Didn't know if she would like it or not. Taking these off the grill. I've got a full refrigerator, boy. Where is my skinny? I'm gonna use the skinny one here. I'll just wipe my counter off. Wash your eggs, because they ain't normal. I know, move. This the dog looks... Needs Beautiful. Move everything down. Okay. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That egg doesn't belong. But these are small enough for you to have a whole egg. Yeah, she could. If we wanted to give her one. Mm -hmm. Where'd I where'd I cut it at? There Doesn't it is. Doesn't matter. Just. Oh, it matters to me. Oh, okay. See, I, I told you guys, it, she's the one who cares. No, about I want it to look pretty sizes. when I get it out onto the plate. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, here we go. Easier. Yep. Get that butter going. Mm -mm -mm. Let me put this over here. Let me take my toast and butter it. Well, what I'm going to do, Harry, for you is I'm going to trade one of these pieces. For this one because this one is more cooked like you like it it's yeah. not burnt but sorry i didn't burn it it's all right but at least it's got some brown on it harry yep. likes almost burnt toast yep. he likes it dark brown not not black but dark brown right is the color he likes put a little salt on the eggs
we have nine quail eggs and two slices of my buttermilk bread, my high protein buttermilk bread with Gruyere cheese, you guys, for our breakfast. It smells heavenly. So you guys, I want Harry to try one. Yes, I do. So you guys come back in the next segment because we've got to take a thumbnail. Quail eggs are even pretty on the inside. Look, you guys, they're a super pale, like aqua. They're greenish blue inside. How pretty are those? You guys can just warm this oven up, put these in there, dry them out, squeeze these, grind them up really good, put them in your garden. Your plants will love them oh, for yeah. you. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you know, you can even take uh, eggshells, grind them up and buy, you can buy uh, gel, cellulose uh, vitamin capsules and eat them too. Or you can put a little bit of ground up quail eggs in your shakes, in your ice cream. So here, Harry, I want you to, there's one little egg here. Look, so cute. Come see, come see. Look at him. There he is. He's perfect size. He's a perfect bite size for okay. you. Okay. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, nine and nine. Just, just so Harry's not upset. Anyway, come on. Okay. Wait a minute. Bring, bring it. Hold the plate up. There's the little egg. Tab it. I know I am. There. Mmm. Mmm. Put that cheese on there. Yeah. Does it taste better than a regular egg? Try one egg here. It's, this you know what? It's kind of like um, more um, rich. I mean, rich in the part of like something that people have a lot of money would eat. How about one of those? Because that one doesn't have the cheese. It doesn't on it. have that pure eggy taste to it. Oh really? Yeah, it's got. I, are creamy. But you got to remember, I'm, I'm I'm eating through this cheese. You won't right here if you eat that one. That one has no well, cheese one, on it. This, okay. This one I don't think has any cheese on it, does it? Try to cut around. Mm-hmm. The cheese. Say a little one. Little quail. Mmm. So is it worth buying them? Yeah. They're good? It's, it's a different flavor. You gotta try one. Okay, I will. Here. Why don't you come? Come. Try one first without the cheese. Okay. And then try one with the cheese. Okay, I will. Sally says I'll take one with the cheese. This one on the end has less. Uh, here's one without. These are so cute. See what, I think you'll see what I mean by it's not as eggy, eggy kind of. Mmm. Yeah, it's got a really neat flavor. The yolk is creamier. Uh huh. The texture is creamier. Yep. Mm. You, can, you can describe things much better than me. Harry is absolutely correct. The white is not eggy at all. The yolk is creamier. It's really good. Not trying with the as, cheese. As long as they have um, quail eggs at Costco. We'll be buying them. This one has cheese. Mm. See, that cheese goes really good with those eggs. Those are really good. Yeah. And it doesn't take a lot of Gruyere cheese. This is an awesome breakfast. Yeah. So you guys it's know what really that means. Good. Gotta eat now. Sally's got quail egg. Yeah, what do you think? Their own little quail egg green, right there, man. Yeah, a little Gruyere cheese. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm -hmm. Can you say bacon?
You guys, we heard a boom or a bang. My pan that my bacon's on is now lopsided. It's like it buckled. It it's weird. I gotta be very careful. Yeah. Please don't get too close to me, Harry, because it's, it's starting to straighten out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me turn this off. Oh man, I'm. I can't see when I first open it, but see, it's sticking up in the air. On one side, yeah. It's weird. See? Look. Yeah, yeah I'll just watch that grease. I am. Have you guys ever had that happen? Ooh, my necklace is super hot because it's it's real metal. Ow. <gasps> yeah, you gotta watch My that. sky blue topaz cross with silver. Man, it's conductive metal. My earrings get hot too. Woo, hey, you gotta you be careful. The heat too long. No, you can't. I'm gonna let that one go for five more minutes because it's the thick bacon on the bottom. Yep. Woo! Ow. You guys have to be careful when you stick your head, I know, when you stick your head in the oven yeah. and you have gold or silver jewelry on, it gets piping hot right away. Oh my gosh, be careful because opals will crack, so will pearls. I gotta remember that. Oh, man, do I have like a... Anyway, you guys, we'll come back. I'm gonna take my bacon off. We're gonna have some bacon gold, but Harry's gotta change the battery in the camera. Yes, indeed. Anyway, this looks yummy and delicious. I've got a spoon for my bacon gold. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna get this. Now, is this pan, look, it's not, it's, it's flat, now. flat again. Yeah, it's flat now, yeah. Okay, that's weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you guys have a pan that buckles in the heat and then goes back to normal? Let me know. I need somebody to, t that's like crazy. Yeah. Now we, we are doing two kinds of bacon. We're doing the low sodium Kirkland bacon that's the regular cut, which is this pan. The other pan is the Kirkland regular with the regular sodium content, hickory smoked, thick slice, because we had one left in the refrigerator. So I decided to do uh, one of each because we're gonna be doing um, BBB and E basically with a keto chow um, shake or ice cream every night. So we, we like it. It's delicious. Um, it works for us and believe it or not, as much as you guys don't think so, do the math. If you're eating a lot of meat, having one keto chow, which is a complete meal, versus the meat you would have had to replace it or the meat and the eggs and the bacon, do the math and see if it's more which way would work best for you? Could you fit it into your budget? That's up to you. You can use your own uh, whey protein that you like or your own alternative uh, high protein powder of your choice and make ice cream. I've been, <laughs> there was a whole bunch of cottage cheese ice cream. Yes. How to make it, super easy, super simple. The only problem is, is I think it'll freeze really hard and you have to babysit it. And I just like the way I make mine. But uh, if you guys are looking for a super easy, super simple ice cream, get the cottage cheese ice cream recipe. It's basically 16 ounces of ice cream, uh, cottage cheese, use your blender, and the uh, real good brand has the least amount of carbs. Use an immersion blender get it all smooth and delicious, and then add your flavorings. Add chocolate, cocoa, vanilla, stevia. Use your either stevia, monk fruit, allulose, any of your sweeteners. Get it the flavor you want, put it in the freezer, check it and stir it every like 20, 30 minutes until it's the consistency of ice cream and then you can enjoy. And I think they used, here look at me Harry, come to the refrigerator. I think they used a 16 ounce container. Yeah. Now remember a serving's only half a cup when you're eating something like this. So you wanna make sure you measure your carb, total carbs, any sweetener, anything that you put into it, if it has carbs, but you can enjoy cottage cheese ice cream. It was that simple. 
16 ounces, lift the lid, peel that in, take your immersion blender, whip it till it is creamy, creamy, creamy smooth, add vanilla, sweetener, whatever flavor you want to do, and put it in that, leave it in the container, put it in the freezer, and you've got ice cream. I was watching, um, whoops, I'm running out of room again. I was watching Highfalutin Carb, and he did uh, the cottage cheese ice cream. He did a chocolate one, and he did a berry one, and he was shocked at that, too. So, you guys. Yeah, he couldn't believe it. That was he funny. couldn't believe it, and I thought, well, that's really great. You know, there's a lot of cottage cheese recipes going out there, TikTok, everything else. You guys don't need to share all that, because I looked them all. I'm sure I've watched the ones that I need to oh, watch. Yeah. It's always We must have watched a dozen of them. It's container of cottage cheese. You add the flavors you want. You can even put like peanuts or keto chopped cookies in the end, stir it up. You can add keto Lily's chow. chocolate. You can put keto chow. You can do whatever you want to in that container. I take some out if you're going to put like nuts and Lily's chocolates and stuff in it because of displacement and then put it in the freezer and then just watch it you know you're going to have to stir it three or four times before you get ice cream consistency then you're going to either need to share that with a person because i think if you put it in overnight you're going to have a brick a hard brick so anyway just sharing that looked really interesting to me you know so yeah cottage cheese they kind of say it has kind of a uh, cheese cakey taste because of the tartness of the cottage cheese. But I like the one where the guy put a couple tablespoons of chocolate cocoa powder, sweetened it to taste, put some vanilla in it, blended it up, and put it in there. Or PB, peanut butter powder, and chocolate. So that's just something everybody keeps saying, what would you make in besides... Um, keto chow ice cream and if you don't have an ice cream maker of any kind like a ninja uh, dreamy creamy whatever they're called I would make cottage cheese ice cream it's so easy so simple 16 ounces of cottage cheese take the top off get your immersion blender or your ninja or your whatever mixer you have it's just easier if you have a stick blender just to do it right there get it creamy creamy cream creamy smooth Add your sweetener, add your flavor, put it in the freezer. Done deal. Just check it because you don't want it too too hard. Too hard. That's the issue. Okay, let's get this over. Ah, oh, learn something new every day. And I bet you, maybe if you put like some gelatin in it, maybe it would keep it from uh, getting so hard. Mm -hmm. You know, there's lots of tricks, including highfalutin carbs. He said you could put some a tablespoon or two of vodka. Now you can't give it to kids and you have to make sure the people you were serving it to, if it wasn't just yourself, can have alcohol. That's huge. But he says it will keep it from freezing hard in the freezer and Pure alcohol like a vodka is something adults over 21 that do not have problems with alcohol, if you can have it, would work and keep it from freezing hard and solid as a rock. Just sharing what he said. So, I believe his name is Wes, but it's highfalutin carb. He does the uh, challenges, he finds two recipe, which one's the best, he's always looking for something. Anyway, just sharing. Okay, let's look at this. This one didn't pop or have anything weird happen to this. was my mom's old. This was my good one. I was worried that it finally did something crazy, but it didn't. I wonder why that pan totally is flat now, Harry. And it's it all... It's cool off. Yeah, but... I mean, seriously, look. It's not flipping at all. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Even Wendy's kitchen is crazy. Her appliances. It's alive. It's alive. It did. It made this horrible noise. I thought the. I thought, what am I going to do if the grease is all over my oven? Ooh. Bacon. Yeah, we got some bacon going on. Now this is the thick stuff here. This is mine. 
Should I put it on a separate plate? I think we can kind I mean, of tell. It's yours. Well, you said you want the low sodium because you thought it was making you. Um... You can have a few pieces. Okay, you can have a few pieces. I thought you made a pack for you and a pack for me. Well, I think you thought wrong. I did. Yeah. I thought I thought I thought wrong. Yeah, you did. You thought totally wrong. You want a whole pack yourself? No. Well, eventually I do. I want even Steven, buddy. You somebody I know taught me even Steven. Well, there's a bunch of it right there in the refrigerator if you'd like to make yourself your very own pack. I have this wonderful chef who makes the best bar none bacon in the entire universe. His name is Harry Shinsky, and he does a fabulous job. Fabulous Boy, job. Well, she's really kissing butt today. He does. Is Look at how perfect really this is. It. <gasps> kiss, kiss. Smart. Oh, Marty, you be good. Kiss it. Between you and me, I really like that. Yeah. Be good. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh. There you go, there you have it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at this. Now somebody told me, if you have any of the silicone ice cube makers, pour cooled, but not coagulated, bacon grease into them, freeze them, pop them all out, put them in a bag, and then you can just throw one into your pan as you go. That's a great idea too. I just don't have room in my freezer. I'd rather have, I'd rather have the meat. I have two containers of bacon grease. I'd rather have the meat, right Harry? Yep. Harry, I tell you, he'd be so mad if all he found in the refrigerator, uh oh, uh oh, I tore it, uh oh. It's all right, it's okay. It's We all understand you. You do? You understand Wendy? Oh yeah. Well, you've been with me almost 40 years, so. If it's weird, it's Wendy. Okay. Yep. If it's weird, it's Wendy. Gotta remember that. I got a big, huge hole in it. Dang, nab it. It's all right, just fold it over. Push it can, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's okay. There. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't do it again. I won't <laughs> until the next time. How's that? Right. I promise not to do it again until the next time it happens. Okay. Okay. Want some? Yeah. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you guys. Oh, so good. It's all so good. Gotta let this all. Oh, look at this. This is the good stuff. Right there. Oh. Mm mm mm. Bacon gold, I tell you. Scrum dilly mm. mm mm mm. Okay, you guys, we'll come back in the next segment. But I gotta have some bacon. Yes, indeed. We are gonna have keto chow ice cream. And you guys, yesterday I made this flavor. Oh my god. And it's amazing. If uh. you like banana and you like peanut butter, just put Mix one of each together. Oh my with gosh. some English toffee drops. I like it a little sweeter. And we used butter and it is out of this world heaven. Oh, it's man. It's so good. But that's what we are having for our dinner. Yes, it is. And maybe a few pieces of bacon on the side. Sure. I know you can put bacon in your, your ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> there you can. So that's a good choice, too. We used to eat at Voodoo Donuts down when we'd go down to Portland and get a maple bar with bacon. <gasps> so good. And I've made chocolate-covered bacon that's amazing, too, if you haven't oh seen that gosh. one. Oh, my gosh. If you and peanut butter on the bacon dipped in chocolate. Oh. Yes, I have. Oh. Anyway, you guys, we are going to close out. We're going to make our three-minute ice cream, and we're going to sit down and just enjoy the rest of our evening. If you have not done so already, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a You're thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Did you hear Sally give everybody their oh, there she got you did Good again. girls. Can you do that again? One more time. Say goodnight. Good girl. Three times. You're such a good girl. Yeah. Thank you, good baby. You are a good girl. Because I know, Mama, you, you got bacon. You are a smart little cookie. She loves bacon. Well, dog. she gets a beef and organ, and when we have a slice of bacon, she can have some of her bacon okay. jerky yep. from Carnivore Dog. There you go.
Mark. Oh, 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 look. Oh, she's cheating. She's cheating. You're cheating, Sal. So. You're cheating. Yeah, you're cheating. cheating. Go ahead. Get your, get your beef and organ. But that doesn't mean you get more yet. Can you say goodnight? Goodnight.